could I call you right back? Good afternoon, Bob. I was wondering if I could have $500,000 to upgrade our call center technology. Well, sure. In fact, I think I'll just give you the cash. Ah, thank you. Nice. You got me? Oh, Jim, hi. Hey, listen, I need you to find a way to connect our two contact centers with the ones from the new acquisition. Can you handle that for me? Well, of course. I can flip the switch, have it done right now. Knew you could. Done. Hey, Bill. The CEO's ordered a new green initiative. Wants half of our contact center staff to work from home. Think you could set that up? No problem. That should just take a second. There you go. On all sides, from the point of Saginaw and Washington streets in beautiful downtown Durant, Michigan, First Congregational Church presents Cafe Devo, a biblical devotion designed to fit seamlessly into your day and help you draw closer to Jesus Christ. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to this Tuesday episode of Cafe Devo. It's April 23rd, 2024 here in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood, hanging out as I always do with my pal Bugsy, and I hope your Tuesday is going well. As we've been doing for the last few weeks, we go back to Dr. Charles Swindoll for our devotional thought. It's taken from his book, Good Morning, Lord, Can We Talk? Copyright 2018, Tyndale Momentum, Walking by Faith. After a long and fruitful ministry, it was time for Paul to leave. In his mind was the necessity of walking by faith as he hugged close friends farewell, standing on an Asian pier. Several of the men wept freely, realizing they would never see their beloved mentor again. The aging apostle looked from man to man, holding each one's eyes after a brief moment. Then, looking out to sea, with his weathered hand pointing south to the stormy seas above the Mediterranean, he said these words, Now I am bound by the Spirit to go to Jerusalem. I don't know what awaits me. Acts 20, verse 22. In our hyper-efficient GPS guided culture, walking by faith is often considered a little weird, reckless, irresponsible even. Yet that's what this prospect called the Christian life is all about, isn't it? We walk by faith, not sight. We rely on what we are not able to see rather than what we can see. God asks us to step out and trust without knowing how everything will unfold. Abraham did it. Paul did it. Peter did it on the stormy sea of Galilee. We walk by faith when we entrust our children to the Lord's care as we send them off to college. We walk by faith when we follow God's leading to give a financial gift. We walk by faith when we refuse to lean on our own understanding and reach out lovingly to a hostile co-worker. That's what faith looks like, genuine, God-honoring faith. Is God asking you to demonstrate such faith? Have you followed him into a very uncertain future and it seems his voice has gone silent? Don't waver. Press on. Don't panic. Trust him. He knows what you need. He sees around the bend where you can't see. In fact, he's already there waiting for you. Remember, he works the night shift. <laughs> he never sleeps. He never slumbers. Father, we thank you for your love and your grace and the hope of a new day for Tuesday. No matter what time of day it is, Lord, I pray that you would bless those under the sound of my voice. 
Give us faith that allows us to step out. Give us courage to follow you. Help us, Lord, to represent you well, to show love and grace to those that we deal with, and to share the gospel on this day. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, that'll do it for us on this Tuesday episode of Cafe Devo. I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off for now. God bless you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.